Hi everyone, today I will be doing a haul video. This is what um, I have received from the States and also what I've purchased uh, here in April, uh, beginning of May. Uh, what I got from the States that my mother sent me, thanks mom, um, I got another um, a jar, I guess you could say this, of the Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay. This is dry. I don't know if you can see this. This is dry. You mix it with either water or apple cider vinegar. Um, you can really use either or. However, it does say to put on a relatively thick layer. Uh, it says a quarter inch to a half inch. Do not put that much on. You do not need that much. Okay? You will clog your sink. It's inevitable. Don't do it. Uh, also got... Uh, some more of the Silk Remedy from Sally's. Um, it's equivalent to the Cheese Silk Infusion. I was running out, so my mother sent me a few more. I got this from also the Vitamin Shop as the Indian Clay. Uh, this is 100% jojoba oil. I use this now as my moisturizer. I've been using this for a few weeks now. And I've stopped using my embryo release and so forth. I use this as opposed to the oil cleansing method. It has normalized my skin, believe it or not. My skin is very oily. Also, I have a lot of dry patches. It's sensitive. So this has worked wonderfully so far. Also, I got some more of the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Cream Gel or Motion Gel. Moisturizing Gel. I used to use this for my face. Till I discovered Embryolise now because I have so many. Uh, I use this for my body and it works great because I have very dry skin all over my legs. So this is what it's going to be used for and it works great. For my hands, my hands are very dry. Um, I cook a lot uh, and I don't like lotions that smell like anything and I absolutely love this. It has no perfume and it's great or especially during the winter if your hands are very dry. Uh, also from this day, actually I got this here in France. Uh, let's go back to the States and I actually got a lot of vitamins and um, where is the other one? Okay. I was actually looking for the Central Performance, uh, has a lot of uh, B vitamins and so forth for uh, energy, for skin health and so forth. My mother could not find the performance, so she got me these regular ones and a whole bunch of different ones of B complex, just B vitamins, B12s, blah, blah, blah. Uh, either from this brand, a whole bunch of brands, including GNC, which she got a huge bottle of. Also got one bottle of this and this uh, Acai. She actually threw this in, uh, didn't ask for it, and it's uh, an antioxidant. So let's see, it'll help me uh, from getting sick. I have really bad allergies. Um, can't find my uh, Zyazal here, so I have to revert to uh, Cetirizine, right? Yeah, Cetirizine. Same thing as Zyrtec. Does not. It's not as good as Izel, but it could get worse. This, however, does help quite a bit. It just doesn't completely relieve them. And my allergies are really bad all year long because I'm allergic to dust. Isn't that wonderful? And I'm also allergic to the sun. But anyway, um, Advil and um, Tylenol here, here, it's called paracetamol. It's, you only get them in small, tiny packages of like 8 or 16. My boyfriend likes Advil, so we got Advil for him, even though you can get it here. Um, paracetamol, like I said, it's very small um, quantities. And since Tala is the only thing that I can take, I got a big one. And then my friend Marianne got me these. No, I did not pop them like Tic Tacs. However... Anyway, from Coastal Scents, I got these uh, color adjusters to put in my freelance kit. 
so I can adjust more foundations if something's too light, too dark, or in my case, just too pink for my yellow skin. Um, that can be adjusted uh, without having to have a kit full of, you know, 10 pounds of just foundations, which really is murder on your back. From Makeup Forever, I got these. These are, um, are empty pots for lipsticks. These are smaller than 26 millimeter um, MAC pots that you can get from um, Stars Make and Haven, eBay, whatever. Um, I'm actually looking to see how small I can get my lipsticks uh, into my kit so I don't have, so I can downsize a little bit more. And also got a new bottle of my Makeup Forever Face and Body um, in number 32. I'll probably be getting uh, maybe number 34 shade darker because of the sun. Although I'm allergic to the sun, I do tan. I just have to have a really high SPF so I don't get a rash. From Monoprix. Um, I actually was recommended this uh, by Tilda, and I absolutely love this. See this? It's the actual packaging. And I got a purple color. Lovely. And I had run out of my water-based mixing medium, the water and glycerin mixing medium for MAC and I just could not justify paying that for a, such a small amount when Encore uh, and so many other people have said how to make your own mixing medium. Although this is a lot more expensive in France than it is in the US, this actually cost me seven euros so it's about ten dollars, ten US dollars. But I can make a whole lot more than a little tiny bottle of Max Mixing Medium. Um, Lily, uh, Makeup Addict 57, um, she also said that Essence's eyeliners are great. And for almost three euros, it is. <laughs> um, I'm actually looking for a charcoal, charcoal gray with iridescence to replace my Coastal Sense Teller or my Lava Cream Liner from uh, Smashbox. They don't make that color. However, this is a really beautiful color. It's a uh, number two London Baby and it's a chocolate taupe color. It does, all of theirs do have iridescence in it. I have not picked up a black because I do have two current black ones. Um, and then, uh, Matilda from Tilda's Box actually recommended uh, I look into Kiko. Um, I wasn't too keen on trying out a lot of uh, like eyeshadow and stuff because I do have quite a bit already in my collection of different brands. I don't have a lot of nail polishes so especially for summer so I decided to try out their nail polishes. I have this one, which is number 304. It's actually a very pretty silver with iridescent, or gray with iridescent, whatever. Uh, they have quite a few colors and shades of those colors. Um, it's really a wonderful selection. The only thing I don't like about the nail polishes is that they tend to be a little too thick for my liking. I'm used to China glaze and so forth, and it's smoother to put on. It doesn't get as goopy and it dries a whole lot quicker. These take forever to dry, even with my Sally Hansen Speed Dry Nail Drops. These still take forever. Okay. So these are not for pedicure that you want to run out of your house in an hour. It's not going to happen. Uh, I also got number 281. It's a beautiful, beautiful coral shade. And of course, I love my purple nails. So I got my 302, and it's absolutely gorgeous purple. And I got this really a bright mint green. I, by the way, I suck at 
describing colors. <laughs> this is number 343, okay? And this is pretty much the same color as Max Eyeshadow called Newly Minted, if you want that as for reference. So uh, this is my haul for April, beginning of May. Um, if you want reviews on any of these items, please let me know. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.